Hey guys, it's Grim Dark Tiger, and welcome back to another episode on the Basic Park. Uh, yeah, so uh, it's been a while since I've made one of these, but I had other things, and yeah, it doesn't matter. Nobody cares. Um, so something I did want to mention, in the last episode I added this sign on the intro tree, and I think I forgot to uh, put the comment on screen. So uh, I'm going to put the comment on screen like right now in this video so you can see the comment. Because, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I forgot it. Anyway, uh, between episodes I did a bit of work on the coaster over here, well, I say I did a bit of work, really, I mean, all I did was, uh, well, I mean, I painted the entire area underground, and I dug it out a little bit, so if I go down here, then you can see that it is all now the brown rock, which didn't take too long, but it was a bit of effort, and in this episode, I am going to be decorating the rest of the coaster, oh, I forgot a block, well, let me just fix that, <laughs> let me just fix that, uh, but I'm going to be decorating the rest of the coaster in this episode. So you may have seen some of the decoration I did with these trees and TNT and stuff, and uh, I'm mostly just going to be continuing that uh, around the outside, but I might also try and find some other stuff like uh, rocks to scatter around, and I'm going to use the uh, smaller grid snapping just to give a bit of extra you know, detail and stuff, because I mean, I have the game pass, might as well use it. So I'm gonna scatter around some of these things, mainly like the rocks and the trees. I'm also gonna just look through and see if there's anything else that I would want to use. Alright, so I did decorate a little bit on the top of this, I just added a few more things. Uh, I did add a couple, I added a bit of terrain over there, and then I added this little stack of boxes that looks like it's about to tip over which is kind of cool, but mostly all I did was just scatter around some decorations to, you know, give it a bit a bit more detail and just give you a bit more to look at as you go around. So now I'm going to go into the underground area, and the first step is I'm going to need to obviously light it up. So let me find some lights. I'm probably just going to use these normal ones. Or actually, you know what I should use is the torches, if I can find them somewhere. Uh, all right, these wall torches, these are what I wanted. And I want to use these because they look like they would fit in a mining area like this. Oh, I forgot I changed my uh, snapping grid. Let me just put that back. And now all I have to do is just scatter them around a little bit down here. Uh, obviously, as they are like this, they give off no light, so I'm going to have to change that. So let's just increase the brightness a bit, and definitely the range. So I'd say 16 is pretty good, and then this is like a bit too red, so I'm going to kind of make this light a little brighter. Yeah, like I think that's nice. I think this is a nicer kind of light color, and I'm also going to delete that one and replace it with this torch, because that one has all the color pasted on it. So now... This looks a lot nicer, and with the kind of new lighting system, it looks really nice how it kind of fades. Anyway, I'm just going to go through the rest of the coaster and place in some of these lights. I might mix a couple uh, other types of uh, the torches around if I need to, but mainly I just want to light up this area. Okay, so one other interesting thing that I wanted to mention uh, while I'm finishing up the lights is over here, right behind this, is the edge of the park. So I couldn't actually decorate this, but Primitives came and saved me here because I couldn't recolor this terrain, but Primitives saved me because I could use these thinner Primitives and then use them as a wall. And you really can't tell the difference unless you're like going like right up, right up like this, and you can still barely even tell that it's not a full block. So Primitives are just amazingly helpful in every single situation. Uh, use them if you have money. Oh, and speaking of money, I have about four times as much as I did at the end of the last episode. That's just because I, I was playing the game. I had this park loaded, and I was checking out other people's parks, so I wasn't building. And yeah, now I'm rich. All right, now I've finished putting all, or most, rather, of the torches in this area. I might still add a couple more if I want to make things more light. I'm obviously still going to do more decorations. But I haven't lit up this little cave up here yet, and that's because I had a special idea with it. So at the end of the last episode, I had mentioned that I had an idea to use some of the triggers or sequencers and stuff 
to make something kind of interesting. And that's what I'm going to do up here. Uh, but first, I just need to get a simple little torch because I'm going to do something with these lights. So I don't want it to be quite this bright. I'm going to put the brightness down to maybe one and then decrease the range a bit. So, I mean, it still lights up, but it's way less bright and way smaller range. And then I'm going to make it red. Okay, now you literally can't see. That's not quite what I wanted. I'm going to make it more of a red light. Uh, now that looks, it looks very uh, spooky up here, which is kind of what I'm going for. You're kind of going up and you see the red, but it, the red's also kind of meant to represent, you know, fire or more specifically a lit fuse. And you may see where I'm going with this because I'm going to be placing in a lot of TNT. Uh, and I mean I a lot. I'm going to fill every available space in this area with explosives. Uh, and the reason for that is just because, you know, it's, it's a mine train. Explosives, mining. I mean, if you've been on uh, Big Thunder Mountain at Disneyland, you'll probably uh, recognize that uh, there are there's an explosive section in that ride. I think in most versions of it, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, on if all the versions have it. But what I'm going to do with these is uh, go to a random piece of this track, like right up here. I'm not sure quite uh, how... Alright, so if you've used these TNT before, I'm just going to place a light so I can kind of see. So I'm going to just get a light and just place down a normal one right here so I can kind of see what I'm doing. Uh, so if you walk up to this TNT, you can click to detonate it. and That'll make it explode and launch players. Uh, however, you can also connect the TNT to the track. So if I select this part of the track, scroll down, it might be in one of the other tabs. Yeah, it's uh, appearance. So I can go to these triggers on the current piece and add one that will trigger the TNT if the ride's closed, apparently. So I'm going to add a few of those and hook up the TNT so that it explodes as you're going through this area. And I'm just going to finish that up real quick because it might take a bit of time to get the timings for that. One other thing I do want to do with these is uh, not just have these TNT in the corner. I'm going to have a couple of these red torches, but the main lighting source is going to be from some of the other lights because... If you go into this light and you make it any color, I'm just gonna I mean I'm gonna have it be red. So let's just make it be red. I can then go to the item mode and have it blink or do some of these other things where okay, that's not the one I want. But I can make it like flash, go on and off, and it'll be kinda like a warning light or something. Uh, and I can have them turn on when the TNT explodes as well. So I think the last thing I need to do to finish up this coaster is just add some decorations on the inside. And I think that's mainly going to be the area where it's got dynamite and TNT and stuff. Uh, but in the, in the other areas, I'm just going to add, you know, rocks and some of that kind of stuff. All right, so I have completely finished, I think, unless I think of something else to add. I've completely finished decorating this entire area down here. So as you can see, uh, it's a lot, there's a lot more going on now. And uh, I've done a couple of things that I think are kind of interesting with this. Uh, mostly I've just put in a lot of boxes uh, and some of these rocks, which just add a little more variation to the terrain, which looks kind of cool. Um, something I tried to do with the boxes was keep them kind of not very well stacked, which kind of makes it feel like this mine shaft isn't, maybe isn't being run by the most capable of people, which kind of makes it feel a little more risky and a little more dangerous. Same with just having the boxes, you know, maybe fall. Um, I also added some here, which looks like it's helping support that piece of track up there, as well as kind of providing another wall in here to kind of make it feel like I mean, sure, it's an open cave area, but it's like a little more enclosed, and there's like the two separate parts. I also added a couple of these little tracks, but I didn't really have too much space to add a lot of those. And I just added a bit of gold, I guess, because, you know, maybe they're mining for gold. So yeah, that's the main stuff I did, and I think 
that it turned out pretty well. Um, uh, I do have to pause recording, so I will be back to finish up this video in just a tiny bit. I mean, for you, it'll take like one jump cut. Uh, and then, yeah, you'll probably be seeing the full video of this coaster and see how amazing it is. All right, so there was a long break between this current clip and the last one. Uh, but, I mean, that's whatever because it doesn't matter. And for you, it was like half a second. And for me, it was several hours. Anyway, now I'm going to be showing the full video of this ride because, I mean, that's like the most co the coolest part, right? So uh, let me just close this and reopen it. And then I will watch this while being completely silent and from this perspective. And there we go, that is the Mine Train Coaster. And if you're wondering how I got rid of the uh, UI elements uh, so that you could see a little bit better, I just typed in the chat slash hide UI, and then that'll hide it. You can also do slash hide chat as well to hide the chat, or you could press this button. Uh, yeah, anyway, uh, that is gonna be all for this video and probably all for this Mine Train Coaster. In the next episode, I'll probably start building some new coasters. Uh, because, you know, I've got plenty of space out here, so I might expand just some normal parts of the park, or I might build another coaster. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, you can check out some of my other videos, because you may enjoy those as well. You could also consider liking this video or subscribing, because, you know, that takes two seconds, and it helps a lot. Anyway, that's all I have to say for this video, so goodbye.